My friends, I am Riff, and there was some exciting things going on in gaming this weekend, and also some more exciting things today coming out, and something that I'm excited to talk about that I never thought I'd be actually excited to talk about. It. Let's get into it with Squad News. The first bit of news has me really intrigued and really interested, and that's that Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty, is gonna be a Black Ops 4, which is good news already if you're a Call of Duty fan. But secondly, if you're a Nintendo fan, it's said to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. So this news comes to us from a notable industry insider who is said to be very, very close with the development team of Call of Duty. And the man behind this information is Marcus Sellers, who is someone who has always had a very good, very notable track record predicting things happening in the gaming community. The actual tweet reads, COD 2018 is Black Ops 4 and is coming to PS4, Xbox, PC, and Switch. It is set in the modern times and it's boots on the ground. The Switch version will support DLC. C, HD rumble and motion controls. The Switch version is also being ported by a company which is familiar with COD games. Another good thing to note for any Call of Duty fans like World War II, this is another boots on the ground game for Call of Duty, which if you were like me and the more crazy and outer space it got, the more discontinued and disassociated I became with the series. I'm really interested to see how well this is gonna work in portable mode. This is something I have always wanted to be able to do, but obviously I've never considered myself wanting to play any Call of Duty game on any other portable before because I feel like it wouldn't handle in any way that I would be interested. I am super, super intrigued to see if I can take this game to work and enjoy the single player mode. Maybe this will get more people playing single player mode. I don't know if it's gonna be supporting multiplayer on the portable. I don't know any of that, but I myself would love to play single player campaign, take it with me and bring it to work and be able to finish it and accomplish it because too many of us nowadays are skipping single player campaigns, which I think is an underrated thing in Call of Duty games these days. If you're looking for a new way to play Smash Brothers and something really different, I don't know if this is going to interest you or not, but there is a new board game, a fan-made board game, revolved around Smash Brothers. A new Smash Bros. tabletop by Zhao Wee 13 has made a version of Smash Brothers using the game Libertalia and doing his own mods and modifications to it. Now, I myself have never played Libertalia at all at any time in my life, but from what I'm seeing on the internet, people seem to enjoy this game. So hopefully this can be an enjoyable progress over to a Smash Brothers game, but something that's interesting. From what I'm seeing, it looks like each card and mat now has a complete Smash Bros makeover done in really exquisite detail. Let me know if you guys would be interested in playing something like this. I myself would just for the fact that it is Smash Brothers. I'm not a huge board game guy, but I can dive into on a Friday night, grab some pizza and play for at least a couple hours. So this, if I can get my hands on it, I'll do it. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has now locked itself in as the second best-selling Zelda game in the entire Nintendo franchise history. So Nintendo unveiled this through their recent financial report for their third quarter of the fiscal year. From there, we can see that the Nintendo Switch version sold 6.7 million units globally, while the Wii U version was previously reported to have passed 1.08 million units, a total of 7.78. And if you're wondering what the number one spot is, that is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess coming in at 9 million units sold. I find this really interesting because both of these games were released on two different consoles. Twilight Princess was released on the GameCube and the Wii, and Breath of the Wild was released on the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Zelda game of all time is. Mine is definitely A Link to the Past. And the final bit of news is the brawler on the Nintendo Switch Brawlout will be getting a physical release in May of this year. Brawlout is a game that is enjoyed by many 80k players in just its first month alone. I myself am one of those people that enjoys the game very much even though the reception was a little bit mixed going in at about a 7 out of 10. But I myself think this is cool. I already have the game digitally. I probably won't be picking it up physically because it's not one of those games that is like my must pick up physically. Let me know what you guys think of Brawlout in the comments below and if you haven't picked it up, physical release is probably a good reason to get the game. That's it for today's episode of Squad News. Thank you guys so much for liking the video, and if you haven't yet, please do so. It really means a lot to us, and I really do appreciate it, and I see it, and I thank you. If this video can get to 100 likes, because we were so short on the last video that we offered, I wanted to run again. 100 likes, and I will send you guys a game from my personal collection. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for watching Superhero Game Squad. I'll see you tomorrow.